Let's see how we can use and get the new Image Playground feature on our iPhone. Image Playground is Apple's innovative image generation app, introduced with iOS 18.2. It lets you create fun, cartoon-like images simply by typing a description, such as a crocodile wearing a tutu, or a skunk hula hooping. You can refine your creations with additional words or use Apple's preset suggestions for themes, costumes, and accessories. The app also allows personalized creations by using photos of people from your Photos app or building characters from scratch. So before we start, there are a couple of different requirements which we need to meet in order to get this, and the first thing that we need is iOS 18.2. So this feature was released with the newest iOS update, which is iOS 18.2 at the time of recording this video. So you will need to update your iPhone to this version or later in order to get access to Image Playground. But the most important thing is that you have an iPhone that supports Apple intelligence. So this Image Playground application will let us generate AI images from text and other things. So we will have to go over to our settings, then find the Apple Intelligence and SireEye option right here, and then make sure that you have Apple Intelligence enabled or turned on. This is a list of iPhones that support Apple Intelligence, and those include all of the iPhone 16 series, as well as the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max. So these are the iPhones that can have Apple Intelligence. So if you have an older version like the regular iPhone 15 or 14 Pro and similar, this sadly won't be available to you. So enable Apple Intelligence and update to iOS.2, and then you'll have the Image Playground application installed on your device automatically. Let's open the search bar and then type Playground. And here is the application which we want to open. So that is how we can get the app, and let's make an image as an example for this video. When you open the application, it's going to look something like this, and we have these suggestions at the bottom where we can scroll through and select any of these to start creating our image. We have different themes, accessories, places, and similar things, and let's say I want to make my image setting in a forest. I'll select this, and you can then select more things from these suggestions. I can also use the search bar in order to type my prompt and explain what I want to create. I'll add a bear on my photo, and the bear should wear a hat. And you can continue like this if you want something specific in your photo. Just type in the prompt and then create the photo which you want and need. Have fun with this new tool and tell me if you like this new feature which Apple has introduced with iOS 18.2. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you soon.